I feel indebted and I feel obligated to be here to honor the man that has paid a heavy price to, for South Africa and where we are at. We are all here for one golden aim, to celebrate the life of a hero, to celebrate the life of the, of the people who passed away because of an apartheid system that prevented black people from operating freely in their own country. I come here to celebrate the life of my hero, my legend, my future, my hope, someone who gave me hope. We were not able to stop the rain, but this is how Nelson Mandela would have wanted to be sent off. These are blessings and in our African tradition, when it rains, when you are buried, it means that your gods are welcoming you and the gates of heaven are most probably open as well. Over 90 world leaders are expected to be here today. Uh, U.S. President Barack Obama is expected to speak, as is U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and South African President Jacob Zuma. Uh, the proceedings are expected to go on for about four hours, prayer, singing, remembrances, uh, as a nation marks the loss of a leader that brought them freedom and a spirit of reconciliation. Wall Street Journal reporter Devin Maley uh, is in Kunu today watching the reaction to the services from Mr. Mandela's hometown. Here in Kunu, a rural village in the Eastern Cape where Mr. Mandela spent many of his early childhood years and later built a house here when he was released from prison, residents gave a much quieter goodbye compared to the to the loud memorial up in Johannesburg. Young people came to the Nelson Mandela Museum here, which overlooks Kunu. They danced, they signed a poster saying goodbye to Mr. Mandela. Many others stayed home because of the rain and, and wind and watched it from their living rooms. Even though they weren't at the physical memorial in Johannesburg at a screening here, they said the pain is much deeper because this is where he came from. These are his roots. To the people of South Africa, People of every race and every walk of life, the world thanks you for sharing Nelson Mandela with us. His struggle was your struggle. His triumph was your triumph. Today, the whole world is standing still again to pay tribute to this greatest son of South Africa and Africa. A boy raised herding cattle and tutored by the elders of his Dembu tribe, Madiba would emerge as the last great liberator of the 20th century. Like Gandhi, he would lead a resistance movement, a movement that at its start had little prospect for success. Like Dr. King, he would give potent voice to the claims of the oppressed and the moral necessity of racial justice. You have taught us that a group of trees break their angry wind, but the tree that towers above the rest is broken by the wind. Child of the wind, of the land. Child of dreams of a future where black and white, rich and poor, men, women, and children must live side by side, dreaming the same dream, realizing at the crucible of time in our land, we salute you. The Union Buildings Amphitheater, where Matiba was inaugurated as president in 1994, and where his body will lie in state, will, with effect, from today be called the Nelson Mandela Amphitheater.